In my chemistry class today, my students and I did a lab that I've done many years in a row called blue dye fading reaction with hydrogen peroxide. And we use our smartphones to collect and analyze the data. We do this simple reaction with blue dye and hydrogen peroxide, but you do have to add a basic solution. So we use 10 milliliters of one molar sodium carbonate that we make and we put it with 10 milliliters of the 3% hydrogen peroxide. Now, normally I use my pre-made seven micromolar blue dye. And this year I tried to just grab some blue dyes that were around the school um, and they didn't quite work out as planned. And we had a new science experiment to solve. So let me kind of show you what happened and let you kind of analyze what you think is going on. So let me start with the great value and these are all blue dye. At least they say they're blue dye, okay? And I'll show you the labels in a second. And then this is a McCormick brand. Whoops. Got two drops in that one, so that one's a little darker. This is a Decca Cake brand. And that one immediately was just a little bit lighter. And then here's just some of my seven micromolar that I make from the solid blue dye. Now, what was interesting is as we were ready to start collecting the data, some of my students noticed some very different things. I didn't actually have any students using this this year because that's the small amount that I had left from last year. So I just grabbed different um, blue dyes, like I said, that were around the building. But as you watch this occur, I'm actually set my phone down my students started to realize that the blue dye was fading, but other things were happening. So I'm gonna zoom in on the ingredients of each one to kind of let you know to check that before you do this experiment. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot more to talk about. And I will have you think about what that means when we get back to looking at the blue dyes as this reaction continues. So the first one is, let's do the Decca cake. And on the label, this is all it says. I'll wait for it to kind of focus. There we go. So I'm assuming that the blue has just blue one. Now the McCormick, we had a bunch of different boxes. So I'm gonna grab two of them here. Here's one of them. This was an older box. I'm not sure if the shininess will even let us look at it. There we go. And then I think this was a newer labeled box. That should be good. And then finally, the great value. Let's see, this one might take a second to focus. Let me see if I can stay more still. There we go. Now let's come back to here. Um, you may have noticed that this one um, definitely is fading. What I'm gonna do right now is put a time lapse on and let you watch these fade uh, and you can kind of decide what was our issue today and why was it happening. And it actually creates more questions um, that I have and you might have. These reactions have been occurring now for probably an hour. And as you can see, these two have gone completely colorless. This one turned red and it is lightening up and it will go completely clear in more time. And then this one is a mystery yet. I'm not sure what's really gonna happen with that one. Now, the moral of the story is that next year I'm gonna be using the uh, Decca cake or go back to making my own solution, seven micromolar from solid or from a stock solution. I will not be using these two because um, I want you to think about that. Why can these two not be used in this uh, spectrophotometry experiment? 
and analyzing the color uh, for the blue dye kinetics when it reacts with hydrogen peroxide. The McCormick did tell us in the newer labels that there is red 40, but the great value did not say anything about a different dye being in that one. So those are two that I'm not going to use again, but they do make me think about other experiments that we could, you know, tail off from this one or create. So good luck experimenting chemists and enjoy trying this yourself and let me know which you know, way you decide to use this. Maybe you use it to just buy the right products or you're gonna take this experiment and change it into something new. Enjoy.